Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. So in today's case, I'm going to talk about Sean Bentler. So one of the most common reasons for murder is money and in this case there is no exception. Sean Bentler was born in 1983 to Michael and Sandra. Sean was the eldest of four children. He had three younger sisters. Sean grew up in Iowa and attended Harmony High School where he was a member of the track team and met one of his closest friends, Keith Gratz. After high school during the summer, Sean and Keith moved in together to attend John Wood Community College. According to the official records, Sean dropped out in November before the semester was over. Around this time, Sean had his first child. Sean found it difficult to maintain a steady job and often worked jobs for many months before moving to a different one. In 2003, he moved in with another friend and after living there for a couple months, he was asked to move out for not paying rent. According to his high school friend Keith, Sean was always broke. During this time, he was employed at Home Depot and later Lowe's. Later in the year of 2003, Sean moved to work with his father in a family lumber business. While working there, he made very good money designing and building houses with his father. Sean eventually moved back to live with his high school friend Keith and another roommate. Sean worked as a car salesman. However, he wasn't doing well at all and was often short on rent. Around the same time, Sean fathered a second child. On October 14, 2006, at approximately 3 a.m., Sean went to his parents' house to do the unthinkable. As previously mentioned, Sean was constantly struggling with money, which led him to develop a plan to murder his whole entire family, leaving him as the sole beneficiary to his family's fortune. On the morning of October 14, Sean's roommate and good friend received a call from his family stating that the Bentler family had been murdered and Sean was a number one suspect. At around 1015, Sean was apprehended by the police. At the time, he was being held on minor marijuana charges and only needed $1,000 to post bail, which he called his good friend Keith and asked him to bail him out. According to Keith, during the phone call, he was freaking out and wanted to get out of jail before his bond jumped to one or two million dollars. Sean believed he had pulled off the perfect murders. However, what he didn't know is that the police were already considering him the number one suspect. It appears that during the middle of the night, Sean took one of the roommate's vehicles, drove to his family's home. While there, Sean confronted his parents and shot them with a shotgun. However, during this time, one of Sean's sisters was able to get a phone and dial 911. During the call, one of Sean's sisters was being heard stating to the 911 dispatcher that her brother was in the house and was acting very strangely. A few minutes later, she was heard saying, Sean, no, before the phone goes dead. While at the house, Sean killed his father, mother, and three young sisters. On October 15th, charges were filed, accusing Sean Bentler of the murder of his family members. Travis Holder, 22, who shared Sean Bentley's apartment up until the day he was arrested, testified that he saw Bentler at their apartment at around 6 p.m. October 13th before he left his friends to attend an out-of-town football game. Travis said that he and his friends left the game, stopped briefly at the family home of one of his friends where he had a few drinks of whiskey. Travis said they arrived at the apartment about 1.30 a.m. when he saw Sean sitting on the sofa. Travis stated, I wasn't sober, but I wasn't trashed, but I was pretty drunk. Travis said he woke up at 6.45 October 14th and again saw Sean in the apartment. When getting into his vehicle to go to work, a fourth of the tank of gas was missing. He said there was a quarter of a tank when he parked the car at the apartment the evening of October 13th. Sean Bentler, 23, was charged with five counts of first-degree murder in the deaths of his parents, Michael and Sandra, and three sisters, Sheena, who was 17, Shelby, who was 15, and Cheyenne, who was 14. Sean took a tissue to his eyes as he looked away from the photos showing the bodies of his parents and siblings. The photos showed Sheena Bentler dressed in pajamas, laying in her bed with a gunshot wound to her face, and the bodies of her sisters found lying inside their closets with their own gunshot wounds. Photos showed Mike's nude body sprawled across the doorway between the master bedroom and the hallway. Another photo showed Sandra fully dressed in a red sweater, blue jeans, and dark blue socks lying against a chair with one arm draped over the seat at the end of the same hallway. One of Sean's daughter's mother testified. She had said she spoke to Sean about the lack of a job and that she told him that he had to start helping pay with the care of their 19-month-old daughter. He responded and said that when his parents were dead, he wouldn't have to worry about money anymore. 
Sean Bentler was found guilty of five counts of first-degree murder and sentenced to five consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. All right, you guys. Well, that's it for this case. Thank you for listening, and until next time, bye.